Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to be going over two new leaked monster movesets right here. And then I'll also go and show you some new monster designs, even though I already showed those in a short. They're still pretty cool, so we'll go over those as well after these monster skills. So the first one is for Snowclaws. It is a water and magic tank with taunt as a trait and guard down hater skills. So it actually has an AoE guard down with, I believe this is probably removing stamina from the enemies. But if it actually does give stamina to the enemies, I don't really like that. But if it removes it from the enemies, that's a really great move. So yeah, I really like that. It also has a regen to itself with some damage. Moderate damage is pretty good. It does also have a guard down hater to all allies and maximum life increase to himself. So that can help you do a lot more damage to the enemies you put guard down on, which is really cool. So yeah, that's pretty neat. And then it also has a guard down to one enemy with insane magic damage, which is pretty cool. It has an AoE guard down, which is really good. Another AoE guard down with low magic damage, which is pretty decent. And it has a precision to all allies and heals itself by 50%, which is okay. So yeah, overall, this monster is pretty decent. I mean, it's not like super amazing, but yeah, it's a pretty decent monster. I do like it quite a bit. And now let's go on and go over Shadow Bolt. So he's a Thunder and Dark controller with Light Immunity as a trait and time stop skills. So he has an AoE Shock with low Thunder damage. That's fine. He has a single target moderate Dark damage with time stop. He also has a very low Thunder damage to all enemies with Shock to all enemies and an extra turn. I actually do really like that move. He also does have a single target extra turn time stop, which is really good as well. I do really like those extra turn moves. Those are great. And then he also has a low thunder damage with electrified AoE, which is pretty good. I like that a lot. And then he has an electrified and shock to one enemy, which is also pretty good. And he actually also has an AoE mega time stop. That is great. So yeah, overall, really good moves on Shadow Bolt. Shadow Bolt is probably better than Snowclose in my opinion. But yeah, they're both pretty decent monsters. But yeah, Shadow Bolt is pretty great. I like that a lot. And then we have the Feral Era Season 3 checklist right here. It's pretty much all confirmed. These are the brand new monsters and where you're going to get them. It looks like Shadow Bolt might be inside of the Golden Legends Pass. He's actually not confirmed though. And Snowclaws might be in the Tails Challenge. But he's not confirmed as well. So those could swap. They could go either way. But either way, they are going to cost either money or gems. Because Tails Challenge monsters do cost gems. So yeah, they're either going to cost money in the Golden Legends Pass or gems. But they're both pretty decent. I don't know if they're really worth money though. But yeah, they're pretty decent monsters, I guess. But, so you could spend money on them if you really wanted to. And yeah, we also have some new lab pod changes. So now you can rent pods for an hour at a time, which is kind of dumb. Golden Pass owners now have a permanent extra lab pod. And speed up tokens can be used to speed up ranking, extracting, and crafting. That's like the only good thing out of this. The other two are just lame. I don't like either of those. I don't like that at all, really. Honestly, that's just not very great. And then apparently you also get will get an extra lab pod when you get the Golden Legends Pass. So that's okay, I guess, as well. And now let's go on down to the design. So we have Blastrude on right here. That's a really cool looking dinosaur. This is the baby design. This is the adult design. They're pretty cool looking monsters. We also have Presentus right here. That's a pretty cool looking design too. I think this is the Christmas monster. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But I think it's the Christmas monster just because it has mistletoe all over it. And that is generally a Christmas plant, kind of, if you know what I mean. And then we also have a Posey right here, which is a pretty cool monster too. This might also be a Christmas monster just because it has snow on it. That could be a little bit of a stretch, but that's just my guess. And it is Posey. It looks like a plant with a bunch of snow on it. That is a really cool design, by the way. I do like this one a lot. And then we have Herario, which is a little goblin. I like this design too. It's all right. It's definitely worse than the other ones, but it's pretty decent looking. It might actually be better than Presentus, but I do like Blastrudon and Posey a little bit more. And then we have Linnaeus and Sabarus, the brand new ancestor. We have the baby design right here, which looks cool. It's got a little child. One of these is Linnaeus and one of these is Sabarus. Not sure which is which, but yeah, one of them is one of them. And then we also have the adult design, which loses the one on the back, which is very strange to me. Don't know why they did that. Don't know where he went. Please tell me where he went. I need to know where he went. It does kind of look like a rare or uncommon monster design, though. Not a huge fan of that. But yeah, it looks okay, I guess. But then when it awakens, it looks awesome. I love the awaken form. The little guy is back. Don't know where he came from or where he went in the adult form, but he's back. And yeah, pretty great looking design, the awakened one. But of course, you won't be seeing that most of the time. Most of the time, you'll be seeing the baby or the adult form. 
most of the time it'll be the adult form. So yeah, and that one isn't very good. That's definitely actually his weakest design, the adult one. And that is the one that you will see the most. So yeah, honestly, not great. But I do love the Awakened design. It looks amazing. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the Ancestor and his designs. Honestly, yeah, like I said, baby design is pretty decent. Adult design kind of sucks. But then the Awakened design is pretty great. Kind of wish this was the adult design, the Awakened design was something different. But yeah, I guess that's fine. I don't know why. It just looks so out of place without the guy on his back. It just looks so weird to me. But yeah, that could just be me. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of them. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Most of the designs in this video are pretty cool. Um, the only one that's not really too great. I guess the goblin's pretty cool, I guess. So yeah, they're all pretty cool. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these two new monsters. And what you guys also think of these new monster designs. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Goodbye.